you guys know I'm recording this and I did not hit record. So all of the stuff that I showed you really, <sighs> I never showed it to you. So now I got to finish where I started. Stop. All right, you guys, this is, this is, I think, where I stopped. Oh my gosh, I got to do this video all over. See? Okay, so there's this um, collection, or there was this collection at Michael's, and it was right after Christmas, I think it was, or right after the Christmas holidays, they put this out. And these are Kelly Creates. I do not know if this was a late arrival or whatever it is, but these stamps I purchased, and they're called Traceable Alphabet Snaps, and they're for calligraphy writing. Okay, let me remember. I actually have been doodling or dabbing with calligraphy for quite some time and just felt like I never could get it like I wanted it to. So, matter of fact, I even purchased this last one at Tuesday morning. This was 10-17 October. And I bought this set for $12.99, right? Well, how ridiculous is that? And I don't know why I purchased that. Because I have been ordering my uh, fountain pens and such from, you know, that site that should not be mentioned. Yeah, I'm not going to mention it. And I have been ordering my fountain pens from that site. I have loads of these pens and... I think, well, when I tell you the price, I was only paying, like, uh, some of them $0.98. Cent. Some, I have some gold ones, some silver ones. I pay, you know, $1.28 for them at the most. So, yeah, that was, this is a ridiculously ex uh, affordable pin. So, why would I pay $12.99 for it? I don't know, a Tuesday morning? Yes. Okay, so... They also have a set of traceable sentiments. They have uh, traceable quotes. They have traceable wedding stamps. Traceable days of the week. Traceable quotes. And traceable month stamps. And these have the, the days of the week. They're the, uh, the days of the week and the abbreviations. And this one is the days of the month and the abbreviations. Well, what you do is you stamp it exactly how you want it. Um, with these, you can make a word, so that's good. They have the caps and the lowercase letters, so you can actually trace it like you want it. And, I mean, stamp it like you want it and then trace the word and you can use it. You can practice. Yes. Um, you could practice this. So, these came in handy, but I'm going to tell you why I ended up getting an extra set. They cost me a dollar, and they were on sale for one nineteen. And I used my 15% off. They cost me a dollar and one cent for each pack, which made me go get another set. And it also made me look at the price of the rest of their papers. This, I think, ended up costing me... It was $1.99. I paid a dollar sixty something cent for the traceable paper. Would you look at that? And I can trace my own stuff. I remember when I first started trying to do calligraphy, and I even have the paper pads um, that I had, which brings me to the rest of the stuff that was on sale. And this is the dotted paper, which I like because I use it to make my inserts. But I was going to places like Staples and uh, Office Depot, and I would buy packs of paper like this to make my inserts because I like the dotted lines or the dots, the dotted paper, and I like the grid. So I was actually going to the stores buying my tablets like this and I'll just fold the paper in half and make the the insert with it well I guess if you find it on sale and it's already done you don't have to worry about that because I found all of these and they were also on sale for a dollar and some change and you get three packs of these and they're the five by seven size and they come in the different styles look at there this one is printed 
How cute is that? This one is the dots. And this one is the grids. So you can use this in your um, books now. Um, when I tell you I have loads of these things, I remember when I used to do the faux dories. Yeah, well, that's what they started off calling them because we started making the faux dories after the Midori. And uh, yeah, so I have loads of these books that I used to get from the three packs from Marshalls and from Ross for a little or nothing. Now the price has gone up because yes, we're using them and everyone wants them. So they actually increased the price. Um, okay, I can't believe I had to start that over again, but I'll show you some other stuff that I got. I think I showed you that book that I had that I actually want to use because these books are on sale too. And like I said, I haven't been back to Michael's for maybe a week or so. And they may still have this stuff. I mean, it might still be on sale, but this is one, I think I showed you this book. I don't know, you guys, so I'm not sitting here reading the script or anything, so I can't tell you what I've talked about so far. And then too, I had to start my video over. Okay, this right here is um, one that is Maker's Log. Look at this. So, um, it has, it starts off, and they had loads of different uh, styles. My fingernails are yuck, you guys. Okay, but y'all have to deal with it. Uh, project schedule, and it has the days of the week. They're managing my brand, and you have stuff like finish outstanding tasks, respond to social messages. I need this badly. Update calendar with events, post to social media, create. Uh, it actually has a process for you to follow to make sure you capture everything. Upcoming projects, and then it has happiness as a warm glue gun, and then it has crafting books, which <laughs> I know I need this just to list my magazines. Yes, because I've had, when I tell you I ended up with so many doubles of my UK magazines, it's not funny. Okay, currently, and it has this list right here, and then it starts all over again. Well, this book, I need to go get another one, will allow me to pull each of these sections out and use them in my journaling. Yes, yes, so I could see me doing that. Um, I have loads of stuff down here that I could show you that I've purchased over the last probably couple of months. I want to show you some doodads that I purchased. I think I got these last week. Um, they were, they had their, their B landing stuff, um, buy two, get one free. I ended up paying $3 and some change for these right here. But I have, let me see, I think I have some on my desk. I like to use these to make my little charms for my uh, books and such so I saw that they had different ones which I thought was so cute these have been sitting here like forever because I haven't finished uh, doing those but they're the little porcelain charms and I love using these on the as as the charms for my um traveler notebooks these are so cute so yes i got that size and like i said you buy two and you get one free and i used a coupon so i was able to get them for like 339 and then i got these and how cute are those these make the cutest and if not you can use them for little embellies on your um altered boxes i got a lot of stuff going on on my desk here so I'll have to get with you guys once I do as I do stuff I can't figure out what it is I haven't done I got this from AC Moore and um, it's Valentine's stuff yes paper and I purchased some of the and then I got this right here the shakers and these were uh, probably I don't even know 67 cent or somewhere around there yeah but I'm going it, it's for the shakers I think I'm going to make my plastic inserts 
something like these using the um yeah because they have those on sale too but when you have your plastic and all that kind of stuff let me show you what i use i use this acetate and yeah this size is 11 by 14 so you can make large large um, plastic inserts yourself with your fuse use your tools you guys oh no okay the timer alexa stop <laughs> my timer just went off that's what happened yesterday but anyway i'm gonna come back and i don't know what project i'm gonna come back because when i tell you i have so much stuff next to me that i haven't shared with you i haven't done i picked up i need to just put away i'll uh, show you some of that stuff and i may not be able to show it to you until um i do my projects i show you what it is i'm using and where i purchased it from right now is after the fact so even if i purchased it at the price that i purchased it for i'm not certain that it's still out there or if you can get it but i hope i've given you the information in enough time for you to go out there and find it yourself i have when i tell you i have so much stuff i know i didn't do videos of my tuesday morning stuff this happened in november because my son took me uh his and i got a bunch of these because i needed them for my charms yes but look you guys i actually received my i can't tell you that site that shall remain nameless i went to and ordered my own little doodads i got them in silver and in a bronze looking color and i could actually make these myself so yes i'm looking forward to that because i want to do loads and loads of stuff i'm gonna have to even come back to you again <sighs> like i said i have too much stuff to just show you all the stuff that i have over these last couple of months that i picked up so um oh i know what i do want to show you i actually ordered my third mixed media journal the dina wake wakely one because you guys this is such a great idea but i want to do my art journal in here i love this woman's media journal it is awesome but i find because i'm using my other one for something and of course you got to have one to hoard right um i found that i need to cut this and um space her signatures because if i load this up with a bunch of goodies and stuff the book is going to do like this and i don't want it to do like that so i am actually i actually purchased this extra one just so that i could cut the binding off and rebind her um this book using the covers yes i'm just going to make this wider the i'm gonna make the binding wider and put her pages in there so that i can actually use the book and it won't be you know like a mickey mouse yeah it won't be big this way yeah so anyway that's one project i'm going to do and i'll have to show you that when i do it but anyway i am going to right now um stop this video it may not record the end of it because i'm getting a warning light but anyway you guys i know i'm going just talking fast and when i tell you guys that bacon is smelling some kind of good i need to go and eat all right, you guys, I'll come back. Happy New Year's. If I don't see you again, I'm doing stuff. So trust when I tell you I'm doing stuff. But I want to come and share with you guys. And maybe I'll calm down in a minute and I could show you and share with you a lot of the stuff that I've been, yeah, picking up and getting. And yeah. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye and Happy New Year.